Hi there. In this video, I will demonstrate the example DHT11. This example, DHT11, you will find in the Asunder library. So you need to have it installed. See the links below for information. There is another library that is used, and that's the simple DHT. This one is included. That's handling the communication with the sensor. In the example file, there is in the header, there is a number of information you need. For instance, there is a link to the DHT library. Uh, you can also find a link to the example specification. The DHT11. So this is the sensor and uh, the circuit, how to connect. This is the board and this is how you will see it in Asunder Studio and here is a log example okay so I will connect to Arduino pre-programmed with this example and you will find the virtual com port here in the device manager then I start Asunder Studio. Uh, add a connection. Com port. OK. Com 6. Board rate. You will find in the example here. OK. So now we have a connection. You see this icon. So now we're connected to the COM port and now we will fetch the features implemented in the Arduino. And we have three features and each of them have a panel um, the definition of the features is in the example. In the beginning of the file, you have the Asunder feature macros where you define your features. We start at the left, we have a text event. It's a text string that you can send up from the Arduino to this panel. It's called sensor state. Basically, it says if the reading from the sensor is OK or not. And then you have the two int event. That's the humidity and the temperature. Um, then we have a unit. Humidity is relative humidity. humidity in percentage and then we have in Celsius for the temperature. So in this example we're only sending data from the Arduino and up to the Asunder Studio. Now I will demonstrate the logging. For that reason I I put the sensor on top of a sponge that I soaked in the hot water and in the beginning of the experiment I will not have the sponge in place but I will add it. So I use the logging and I want to look at humidity and temperature and I put them on 
different axis like this. So now the sponge is not there, so it's not happening much. See the temperature is stable 21 and humidity 38. Now I will put the sponge under the sensor. Immediately the humidity starts. The temperature is still it comes slowly, slowly. Then I remove the sponge again. And there is some delay, of course. While we are waiting, I can explain that axis A is actually the left axis, and we will have the blue color. And the axis is automatic scaling. And then on the right, we have the temperature with orange. Also automatic scaling. And on the X axis, that is common for both, is the time of day. Oh, now we see it starts to go down. The temperature was peaking at. 23 or something like that. Okay. Thank you. That's over. Thank you for watching.